Yo, what is up everyone? Welcome to the channel. It is T Ultra here. And in this video, I'm just gonna be going over my XP progress. And I'm gonna also enter in a few locker codes that are currently available in NBA 2K21, my team. But before we do that, guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel because we are on our way to 500 subscribers and you're gonna wanna stay tuned for more NBA 2K21, my team content. Now, with that being said, I believe since my last video, we have reached level 24. 25 and now level 26 so for level 24 we got this uh ruby jaron jackson card for le reaching level 25 we got this little sharpshooter badge pack which we are going to open this pack in this video as well as a bunch of other packs that i got already and some stuff that we're going to get from the locker codes as well like if we get some packs or something so we're going to be opening some free packs in this video as well which is going to be pretty fire and then here is level 26 we got an ascension board for this i'm going to throw that on the screen right now all right, here is my level 26 ascension board. We're gonna do that right here and right now in hopes of getting that pink diamond Bob love. But first thing is first, we do have to get to the top board. So we got a shoe pack right there. That's not really what I'm looking for. A 100 MT that is also very much so not even close to what I'm looking for. Okay, come on 2K. We gotta, we gotta get up to the, uh, the next board before we can get to the top board. There we go, we're on our way up. All right, it's tradition, always go top left. And okay, it's it, it did not bring us to the next board, but it was still a pretty good flip, although it pretty much just doubled 100 MT into 200 MT. We get another chance to double our MT or tokens right here. Let's see. And literally the exact same thing happened again. So, all right, it is what it is. We keep getting 100 MT and one token. Oh, now we get 200. All right, thanks 2K. That's, that's not really what I meant when I was saying I wanted something better. A basketball pack. We might as well do all four corners here. Go all the way down to the bottom right. And, ooh, a free NBA Finals award pack. Okay. That's kind of cool. We might need to open that in this video. 500 MT. Let's see. We got to be careful here. We're, we are running out of picks. 300. All right. Let's see. I have a good feeling about this one right here. And I should not have had a good feeling about that at all. It is a shoe pack. All right, so as you guys can see, that Ascension board really wasn't that great. We did not get anything too good, uh, but, you know, it is still nice to get some MT, some tokens, and we got some packs from there as well that we are going to open in this video. And then just to update you guys on how I got to level 26 since my last video, I have done these two daily challenges right here. And then also I'm going to throw on the screen the daily challenges from October 29th that I did. Those expired, so I took a little clip of them so you guys could see what they were. And then also a Tyler Hero uh, XP agenda thing where I had to score 20 points with him for 500 XP. And then I also did two out of three daily challenges on October 30th. I did not get a video of it. And I, and I can't remember what the two that I did were, but the one that I did not do was get two steals with the Spurs player. So uh, either way, we got the majority of those done. I did this little uh, possessed challenge right here for 100 XP. That is a weekly challenge. And then we also got a pack from doing that. So we will open that in a little bit here in this video as well. Um, you just did this challenge right here and you got a free possessed pack. So that was pretty cool. And then looking at these season two tip off east and west agendas, in a recent video, I bought a bunch of these cards so I could get these agendas done. And we've done quite a few of them. We did this James Harden one, Jay Williams, Buddy Heald, Markel Fultz. I believe I already had the Bradley Beal one in a previous video, but we do have that one done regardless. Josh Jackson. I believe the George Hill one was also done in a previous video. We got Dante Exum layups, uh, Dennis Smith Jr. Uh, agenda done, Gooden, Mac Mick McLemore, not McLemore the rapper, uh, Darko and Thon Maker. And I believe I already had these two done as well. But yeah, these are all the season two tip off east and west agendas that we have done. And then looking at the flash two agendas um we did all the robert pack ones we have two out of the three dawkins ones two out of the three ak-47 ones and i think i had this challenge done already i'm pretty sure but we're making some good progress here i also forgot to mention that we also had to buy a current series rui hachimara card for 8750 mt because he had an agenda where if you score 23 points with him in a game you get 700 xp so we did that one as well I'll go over a bunch of the cards that I sold back later in this video because we also did that once we finished a lot of their agendas. We sold some cards back. An example of that would be this Ruby Spud Web. We have all of his agendas done. So once we were done with that, we just sold them right back. We have one out of the three Larry Keenan agendas done though. So I did not sell him back quite yet. And then looking at the international agendas right here, we got all three Ricky Rubio ones done and all three Andrew Wiggins agendas done. I believe I sold this Ricky Rubio back again. I'll check that in a second here. We have three out of these four. We 
week one agendas done and then we are on to week two quarter three where we have this Knicks assists agenda done. You can see sort of all the week one, week two, week three stuff we have done. For week three, we did these uh, week three dunk ones as well as the week three layup ones. We got all of those done. And then pretty much to wrap up all the agenda stuff we've been doing, we also got this Sapphire Derek Harper from winning 25 games of triple threat offline. And then for these tip off triple threat challenges, we have the first five of them done. We got some XP for doing that. And then finally, we got 250 MT from dropping 50 balls in TTO. I really have no idea why they even made this a thing for 250 MT, but it is what it is. I believe since I last made a no money spent video, I believe we won something like nine games of triple threat online. And I believe something like 16 games of single player triple threat. So here we are on the triple threat board. We only opened the vault five times though. We got one token three times five tokens once and 500 MT twice. So we actually opened the vault six times. We didn't get anything too crazy though. So we're, we're making our way up here slowly. So before we get into the locker codes that I'm going to enter in in the free packs that I'm going to be opening in this video, I'm just going to quickly show you guys how much MT I got for the cards that I sold back. So this Rui Hachimara card, I ended up buying for 8,750, like I said, sold them back for 6,750. So we lost some MT there, but it was worth it to get the agenda done. Um, and then we sold the rest of these like uh, tip-off cards. Uh, this Ricky Rubio, he's the Amethyst um, International card. Uh, Jay Williams, he was a tip-off card. Same with this guy, Josh Jackson. I mean, all these guys right here were all tip-off cards. They sold for like, you know, two to four-ish K. Nothing too crazy right there. I can't remember what I bought them all for. Um, if you'd really want to see, I did make a video where I went through and bought all these cards. Uh, but I'm, I'm guessing I am selling them back for roughly what I bought them for. You know, plus or minus, maybe like 1K. And the Markel Fultz did not sell for some reason. So we'll just go ahead and send him back to our auction house. Uh, but now we can get into these locker codes and then open some free packs in this video. So the first locker code is going to be this little community poll. Which possessed card is the most terrifying on the court? It's got to be T-Mac, bro. Like, T-Mac is always goaded in 2k and yep that's what the community uh thinks for the most part here is the first locker code it is happy possessed halloween this one expires on the 7th of november and it looks like we have a chance at some sort of pack a bunch of mt or three tokens so i really just don't want the tokens and all right looks like we get 1313 mt i will gladly take that here is the next locker code it is t mac in my team possessed this one expires on november 6th and it looks like we're gonna have a chance at a pack of some sort. So ideally, I wanna get all the way down to the bottom into the red so I can get that uh, possessed pack, uh, but we'll see what we get. Yes, let's go. We got the possessed pack. So we're gonna open that here in a little bit after we enter in you know, the rest of the locker codes, but that is sick. Hopefully we, we can get like a pink diamond T-Mac or something. All right, and here is the next locker code, and I'm recording this on November 2nd. This one came out a while ago, and it expires on November 3rd. Uh, so you might want to get that in pretty quickly if you're seeing this before the 3rd and you haven't entered that one in yet. But it looks like we have a chance at an international pack. Two tokens, or is that a gold consumable? Okay, give me the international pack. Come on, 2K, come on, please, please. Oh. Bro, that was the biggest L of a locker code I think I've ever seen. We got a gold consumable pack. All right, 2K, thanks. And then here is the final locker code of the video. You guys probably already have this one done, uh, but it is simply for a free Vince Carter Emerald card. And I was going to say, hopefully we can get some tokens, but uh, we landed right in the red for the Emerald Vince Carter. So, cool. This locker code came out a while ago, and it's pretty much, I believe, all the way through Season 2. You can redeem it all the way until November 27th. So if you don't have this card yet already, you might as well do it. And I believe you can use that card for a... Is it a signature challenge? Yeah, this one right here. You do that, you get a Hall of Fame badge, and... What else? 15 tokens, so I'm definitely going to do that. Oh, I almost forgot to mention, in a single-player triple threat, we got to 100 wins, so we do get this free Amethyst Isaiah Rider card, so that is going to be pretty sick. Uh, we do have to go through this whole animation, which is a little bit annoying. I don't even know if this card is that good, to be honest. Like, I'm not sure. I've never used it, obviously. I'm getting it for the first time, but that's pretty cool. All right, I will take that. Thank you very much, 2K. A free Amethyst Isaiah Rider. Welcome to the squad, bro. Let's go ahead and open up this Ruby Jaron Jackson right here. Get this one out of the way. And then 
Uh, it's not, it's probably not that big of a deal, but just so you guys know, I did have a shoe pack as well, and I got a gold shoe from it. I opened that one already, so I could apply it to a player to get an agenda done. Um, I showed you guys at some point when I was going over all the agendas that I've done since my last video. Um, you know, you it was somewhere in there, I believe, unless it was one of the daily ones that I forgot to record, but regardless, it's really no biggie. And we get a bunch of more shoes right there cool stuff and i just didn't have any shoes in my collection because in a recent video i sold all of my non-diamond shoes we made a bunch of mt we bought a bunch of those cards that we ended up selling back in this video to get a bunch of that mt back so we're getting some of these you know kind of mid to not very good packs out of the way right here we can save the fire ones for later i got this one from finishing the uh raptors all-time domination and this western conference award pack i believe was from single player triple threat ah oh, man i was gonna say hopefully we can get like an amethyst or something I don't have that card though, so that's not too shabby. Uh, let's do this shoe pack right here, building our way up to these lit packs right here. And we get a gold Converse shoe. All right, silver contracts. And you know, these aren't really exciting packs, but you know, contracts are an important part of the game, especially once you get like pink diamonds and diamonds, you, you don't want to have to pay to put contracts on your players, you know? It helps out. And now we have a ball of some sort. It's a green ball. Cool. All right, what do we have left here? All right, let, let's spice it up here. Let's do this possessed pack. Show me a pink diamond T-Mac. Come on, 2K, please. All right, nothing, 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 nothing. We get an emerald, and it is a Jeff Green. So that's actually pretty nice because he has some agendas to do. So I will honestly take any sort of possessed player because, like, I want to get those agendas done so I can get some XP. And then in a, in a future video, I'll probably go ahead and, like, buy... Um, some more of those possessed players and other players that we need to get XP. We got uh, Emerald, Vince Carter right there. Let's go ahead and open this gold consumable pack that we got from uh, one of those locker codes. Pretty anticlimactic. Okay, we got some contracts in a shoe. I mean, the shoe will quick sell for a little bit, I guess. Let's go ahead and get this uh, Harper. What was his name? Harper? Derek Harper? Was that his name? Who is it? Yeah, Derek Harper. All right, that's... And he also has agendas as well, so that card isn't very good, but I know he does have some agendas to do um, for some XP, which is pretty nice. A bronze shoe. All right, 2K. So now now we got some fire packs left. Let's go ahead and open up this uh, finals pack. Pull, pull a LeBron, you know, call it a day. We didn't get anything good. Hassan Whiteside doing it with blocks. We'll just sell this coach right here. Do a little My Team promo pack, a little bonus pack for that pre-order action, you know what I'm saying? And we get nothing, of course. Jackson Hayes, I don't think I have that card though, so I'll take it. A little original owner action, you know what I'm saying? And we got a gold, a couple golds. Oh, those were contracts and a playbook. The playbook doesn't even have any text on it, so that's cool. We got Cameron Payne as well. Let's do this Sharpshooter award pack. Hopefully we can get a Hall of Fame badge. Let's see it, 2K. Bunch of golds. Gold corner specialist. Okay, I mean, eh. That's all right. I was hoping for, like, could you get, like, range extender in that pack? I bet you could. And nothing too crazy in this promo pack either. JJ Berea. Former Timberwolves great. All right, let's move on to this next pack right here. Final pack of the video. Okay, ooh, a couple, uh, a couple sapphires. I guess that's better than... Okay, I mean, I have Siakam, but we got Xavier McDaniel. He's going to help us with some, uh, what do you call it? Agendas. And then actually, pro tip, this is an original owner card. I can't remember if the card I have is an original owner. It is not. It is not. This is the one I have. This is the one we just got. So I'm going to swap these two out so I can have the, the uh, card with the original owner tag in case I want to use it in the exchange or need it for an agenda or something. So we'll just send the other one to our auction house so we can sell that off. And yeah, those are all the packs for the video. Uh, but yeah, that is going to do it for this video, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure to drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more NBA 2K21 My Team content. And I will see you guys later. Peace out.